Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Mozilla Firefox version 145 has just rolled out. And the update rolled out maybe half an hour ago. Today on the 11th of November in my region. So the latest version in build 145.0. Now this is quite a big update and there's a lot going on in regards to new features, changes and improvements. And most of the changes and features that are rolling out with 145 I have already posted on when they were still in preview and up and coming features. So just to dive straight in as to not make this video too long. Now first of all we get the security fixes that have rolled out and with 145 we get 16 security fixes and out of the 16 vulnerabilities that have been patched over half are high impact so that's nine high impact vulnerabilities there are no critical and there are no zero days that need to be patched but nine high impact so that's quite an important security update 16 security fixes in total now focusing on what's new first of all mozilla says you can now add edit and delete comments to make your own notes in pdfs it's mentioned that the comment sidebar helps you scan all your comments and quickly jump to them which is handy for long or heavily marked up pdfs so just to demonstrate for the purpose of this video if i highlight you can see now that i have a comments so i can add a comment as mentioned edit and delete so if we head back to that, let me click on the comments. I'm just going to go high, add that, and there we go. Now, if I head back, you'll see one comment high, and you get the general idea. So I think that's a nice move, especially if you are working with a lot of PDFs and need to take notes. So you can add, edit, and delete comments to make your own notes in PDFs, which I think is a nice move. Now, I'm just going to mention the next because I actually posted a whole video on this earlier today. Mozilla says that this version introduces a new phase of privacy protections building on its research on reducing browser fingerprinting. Mozilla says that these new defenses cut the percentage of users seen as unique almost in half, ensuring a safer and more private browsing experience in private browsing or using enhanced tracking protection set to strict. I've posted a Quite an in-depth video on that earlier today. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more information. So basically, you've got better fingerprint detecting with version 145. Now, the next is regarding tab groups with Mozilla saying, if you need a reminder of what tabs are in a group, you can now hover the tab group name to get a preview of the tabs inside without opening it. So as an example, if I just close this group quickly, and I hover over there, we can see there's my two tabs that are in that actual group, Wikipedia and my Brand Tech YouTube channel. And I think that's a small, nice, unique little touch. Moving on to the next, you can now access and manage your saved passwords directly from the sidebar. There we go, passwords. So Mozilla says there's no need to open a new tab or window. You can stay on that page you're on and get to your logins faster. Now, I have posted on this previously. As mentioned, most of these features I have um, previous videos on. Now, personally, I don't know if I would want my passwords in my sidebar, just for privacy and security reasons. But nonetheless, it is optional, so you can toggle that off if you so wish. Now, the next new feature is called copy link to highlight which mozilla says allows you to share arbitrary sections of a page with others by copying a link through the context menu with a given selection so as an example if i highlight and i right click copy link to highlight so basically what this does is it creates a link that points directly to the highlighted content if you copy this to clipboard the next time you open up that link it'll come right back to that highlighted content, which I think is a nice move. Also posted on that previously. Just going to mention the next. 
Mozilla says the translations feature has an improved experience when translating between languages with different script directions. So nice to see there are improving translations in the browser. And there's a new brand-inspired set of wallpapers, which are now available for the new tab on desktop with versions for both light and dark mode. And I posted on this a couple of days ago, and I see now it's an official feature, and it's named Firefox. So if you click on that, this is all according, this is all about the mascot called Kit, K-I-T, as I posted previously, which is kind of like a little cartoon fox. And there we go. We can change those up. I did post on this the other day. And this is my favorite out of the brand-inspired wallpapers. I think I'm just going to leave it at that for the rest of the video. And then for the next one, we're going to head into our settings. Scroll down to tabs. There's a new open links from apps next to your active tab window. With Mozilla saying, you can now have links from other applications open next to your active tab instead of at the end of the tab strip which I think is a nice touch if that is a feature you would be using on a regular basis. And for the next, we're going to head over to privacy and security, enhanced tracking protection, and the strict, the actual strict mode. With Mozilla saying that enhanced bounce tracking protection stateless mode is now enabled by default in enhanced tracking protection strict mode. With Mozilla saying it will now block more advanced tracking techniques based on redirection. And that's taking place under the hood. Now for the next one, I've also posted on previously, but I'm just going to use a image provided from the release notes with Mozilla saying that for most Windows users, the existing desktop shortcut for launching Firefox has been replaced with the desktop launcher. A small program that will launch Firefox if it is installed, but if it is not installed, will prompt the user to install Firefox. With Mozilla saying this will provide an easy installation point for Firefox users who acquire a new Windows device, where Firefox will not be installed by default, but the desktop launcher program may have synced via OneDrive or other cloud storage products. And I posted on this previously, where there was a little bit of concern regarding that, regarding syncing to OneDrive and a bit of privacy. I have posted on that previously, so just do a search accordingly if you'd like some more information. But that's also now rolling out by default in version 145. And then just to go through some changes that have rolled out in this latest release. The next one I posted on earlier today as well. The video will be linked. Firefox no longer supports 32-bit Linux systems. With Mozilla saying it recommends installing the 64-bit version for continued updates and support. Check the video out. It's in the description and will be in the end screen. I posted on that earlier today. It has a bit of a UI change where horizontal tabs are now slightly more rounded. And I can actually see that to match the look of vertical tabs. With Mozilla saying that Buttons and text inputs, including the address bar, have also been updated for consistency. So that's a bit of a UI tweak and adjustment. So you can see those tabs are definitely more rounded. And then another change I'm just going to mention, with Mozilla saying when no extensions are installed, clicking the extensions button now shows a message highlighting how extensions can enhance your browsing with links to the Firefox add-on store. I have, but if you don't, that will apply. So those are a couple of changes I thought you may be interested in. And then just to mention a web platform change, because I did post a video on this quite a while back, where Mozilla has added Matroska support, which is the MKV video support, which I think is a nice move. For the most commonly used codecs, AVC, HEVC, VP8, VP9, AV1, AAC, Opus, and Forbus. If you want more info, do a search. I've posted a whole video on that. So MKV support is now available with version 145. So as mentioned, guys, quite a lot going on. And then something else I have noticed. 
after updating, which wasn't mentioned in the change log, is that the focus timer and the to-do list, little widgets for the home page, are no longer available, which rolled out with version 144. And if we head into our Firefox labs, it has also been removed. And at this stage, I'm not seeing any toggle to turn those features on. So no explanation. Maybe it's just a bug or Mozilla has to do a little bit more work, but definitely no focus timer and to-do lists, widgets for the homepage in version 145. And I've noticed that on both of my stable versions on two different devices. So guys, as mentioned, quite a lot going on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.